Today we're going to do a complete teardown of this Lacey. Originally put it on Craigslist and nobody wanted it. It's a 500 uh, gig drive. So I'm going to scrap it. And the things I'm going to need are going to be a screwdriver, torque set, maybe a needle nose plier, maybe a Phillips, and an X-Acto knife to uh, get into maybe some covered screws. So the first thing we're gonna do is look at the back and I see there's a screw at the bottom and there's also one at the top. So we'll remove these first. Face plate comes off, which allows us to slide the unit out. It'll be a bit stiff because it's not really meant to be open and closed a lot, so it'll bind. Finally, separate it from the case. What we have is the hard drive, some circuitry that connects the fire wire and the power supply. So we have screw here, screw here, and one there. So we'll take all those out. We have a ribbon cable, because it turns out that this is an IDE drive, old school. And separates that. Let's see, and for the hard drive, there's a screw here, here, and here. So we'll take those three screws out first. Hard drive is coming loose. There's the power supply. So now what we have here is the inside cage, and I guess you could repurpose this and maybe put something in here, you know, another drive, your money. Now there's one screw there, and we'll take that off, and that should allow this whole unit to come apart. So we have the power supply module and receptacle here. We have the remaining piece of the ribbon cable for the ID. And in order to take this apart, I see one, two, three, four, four places where there are screws other than these three places. So using the X-Acto knife, we're gonna reveal the screw heads so we can get to them. To remove the screw heads, you'll need a Torx number 8. Inserting a screwdriver quickly reveals that there's some binding going on, so there's another screw underneath the label. There's a screw there. Screw up here, over here, over here, and let's see about the magnet. Does the magnet come right off? Yep, there's nothing holding down the magnet. This is the magnet being attracted to that magnet, armatures in between. And usually there's a screw or two on this, but in this case there isn't. There's one screw at the bottom, and then there are a bunch of screws here for the platter. So let's take apart the platter. And for the platter, we're using a number seven Torx.
spacer, platter, lockdown, ring, sometimes the armature comes out easy, sometimes you have to force it. We're gonna, I'm going to try taking out the magnet and see what that does. Ah, now you notice that the magnet out, here's the magnet. There are two posts here, and oh, that comes off, and it still doesn't release the armature. Um, maybe there's a screw back here. Let's take off this backboard, and it has one, two, three, four screws. little foam pad on this side there are no screws this is the um, the leads to the motor it's here I'm just going to see if some leverage and get that out now the funny thing is you're fighting the magnet the whole time There, the armature is lifting. And has finally let go. There's a little piece of rubber on this post. And now that that's removed, the magnet comes off. So we're left with this motor, which if you apply some force here with a nail or a punch, you'll get this motor to pop out. And so we've done a complete teardown of this Lacey down to its flatters. Spindles, armature, electronics. And what will I do with all this? Well, maybe I'll use it for an art project. If you decide to repurpose the case, there are really only four friction points on this. Two tabs on top, and when you flip it on the bottom, there's one there and one there. If you rub a little bit of uh, soap, They won't slide easy, but you'll get it in much quicker than if you just tried to brute force it. Watch your fingers. Don't want to pinch your fingers. And there's the case closed up. You could use oil. I prefer soap because it doesn't do any, any, leave any residue. And then uh, you could put screws here with the back plate. You know, maybe you make this into a clock. Who knows? It's up to you. But that's a, a way of just getting this inside component in a lot quicker. Just a little bit of lubrication on, on those points.